Good morning, y'all, and welcome to Apron Strings. And today we're out in the sunroom because when I buy a bunch of stuff, I come put it on this table and then I put it wherever I'm going to hide it. So I went to three different places and I'm going to just share with y'all the things that I picked up. First, I'm going to start with Dollar Tree. I didn't get much there. I ran in there for um, popcorn because I got to thinking I can use my. Uh, Wonder Meal. Mine's called a whatever it was called when they first came out, but it still works. Uh, but it's like the Wonder Meal. Uh, you can take popcorn and grind it into cornmeal. So this is a one pound package. This is a 20 ounce package. And now at Dollar Tree, I think it's $1.25. But you can grind this into uh, cornmeal if you need to. And that's a wonderful price. And I think I got five of those where I would just, just a back up to put in my pantry. I've been telling y'all, stock your pantry, and I do practice what I preach. Then I always like their Himalayan pink salt, $1.25 for a pound, and it's very good. I just usually, I have one of those that I bought at TJ Maxx. It was like a five pound plastic container. So I let it get low, and then I open these up and put them in there, and I have it in there in the kitchen where I can use it. Now, that is all I think I got at Dollar Tree. Yeah, now I'm going to start with Sam's. Well, wait, let me go to Costco because I want to put this back in the freezer. They were demonstrating this hook, line, and saver um, codfish. And it has, it's called Everything Crusted Cod. It's like the Everything Bagel, whatever. This is very good. And there's how many servings in here? I think there's six servings. I guess I could look on the back. There's six servings, and I think it was like it was on sale for like twelve dollars. So that's two dollars a serving for the fish. And a lot of times when you say, ooh, twelve, fourteen dollars, but when you think about how many servings you're how many meals you're getting for that price when you break it down, it's worth it. This is delicious. I really like All you do is put it in the oven and bake it for 18 to 20 minutes and it's ready to eat. I'm going to put this back in the freezer right quick. No, I want to show y'all one more thing from Dollar Tree. They have these egg rolls that are a dollar and a quarter a piece. I bought vegetable, pork, and I've got uh, one more over there. I think it's shrimp. These are very good. You can bake them in your air fryer or you can deep fry them. But for $1.25, they are delicious. And when I shut this freezer, it forms a vacuum and I can't hardly get it back open. Okay, that's Dollar Tree. Then I went to uh, Sam's because I wanted um, to see if they had the big bags of jasmine rice, and they did. Let me get my camera over here because it's 50 pounds and I don't want to lift it. So let's see if I can tilt this down. See the yellow bag right over here? That's 50 pounds of the Members Mark Jasmine Rice and y'all it was $16. Excellent price for 50 pounds of good Jasmine Rice and I've been using this rice for a while and I'm very pleased with it. So y'all need to try if you don't have any rice in your pantry, you don't have any stocked up, that's a good price and it's wonderful rice. Now, I've heard several people talk about this pineapple. It's in a nice glass, I believe that's glass, thick plastic or glass jar. And it's pineapple spears and I think it's $6. Well, there's 42 ounces. So if I bought um, 42 ounces, three or four cans of chunk pineapple, I'm going to spend $6. And this is sealed and it'll keep, it says good until 2024. So just to have some fruit in my pantry, because we may not be able to get stuff like that, I bought me, uh, I think, five of these just to put up and have. I also got the big box of Cheez-Its because Troy likes these for a snack. And Anything he'll eat, I try to have because he's never really hungry. So I got the Cheez-Its. I also got, and I don't usually use minute rice, but every now and then I think, 
I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna fix that and we'll have a little rice with it because I can put onion and garlic powder in this a little bit of beef bouillon a, you know you can jazz it up in nothing flat and have a side dish so minute rice is something to have for that last minute something that you need a side dish for and I don't remember the price on it but it was like three or four dollars and there's how many servings are in here I should have already looked. There's 44 servings in here, so that's not bad for a side dish. I, um, I'm trying to figure out where I got everything. Now, when I went to Costco, they didn't have hardly any pasta. So when I went to Sam's, they had their members mark, and this is the angel hair, and there's six pounds in there individually wrapped, and this is regular spaghetti. $4.48. That's a good price. For the spaghetti so I did get four of the regular ones and three of the angel hair I also got there's four packs of brownie mix here because I have to spoil those grandkids and this was six dollars and a few cents so that's not bad for four nine by thirteen pans of brownies so I got that there they also had and it said limited time Taco Fiesta Black Beans. It's in a taco style chipotle sauce with corn and bell peppers. So that would be good to put some shredded chicken with it and have tacos. So this is a good deal. There's six cans and this was five or six dollars. Almost a dollar a can. But it's already got the seasoning in it and it would be an easy meal. So if you have canned chicken that you've pressure canned, put it with a can of these beans add your little cheese to it and you've got uh, Fiesta chicken tacos good deal and I may get some more because they said it was limited time now I, at Costco I got um, I'm not sure if this was Costco or Sam's I went ahead and got me a six pack of sweetened condensed milk because this is good until 22 uh, 23 or 24 and Christmas will be here before we know it, and I want to be sure that I have what I need to make some goodies. I know, it's several months away, but you better be thinking ahead. Some of the shelves are empty. Other shelves are going to get empty. We don't know what we're looking at, people. And y'all might better listen and get you some stuff on your shelves. Even if we don't think as far ahead as Christmas, if times are bad and you can have a good meal on the table, that brightens the day. So you need to think about that. I also got these three packs of um, Alfredo sauce. And they came to less than $2 a jar. And I may not have heavy cream and Parmesan cheese to make my own. So I wanted some of this. I got two packs, so I have six to put in my pantry. And then Costco, I told y'all, didn't have any spaghetti. But I got this box, six boxes of tricolor. It's three rotini and three penny. Now, I like to make salad like potato salad, but I use the um, pasta twirls. So I, that, I was glad to get that. Now, I like to snack occasionally on Ritz crackers, so I got the big box of Ritz crackers. There's 18 stacks in there. I also got uh, some more diced, organic diced tomatoes. These come to less than a dollar a box, a can. There's eight cans in here, and they're organic. That's a big plus. Another thing that I like from Costco are these healthy oats. Y'all, there's 20 pouches, and 10 of them are apple walnut, and 10 are strawberry almond. But they're they're crunchy. They're, it's like granola in your oatmeal. They're very filling. If you eat a pouch of this, you're not hungry for a long time. So I actually got, to, and there's 10 grams of protein. So I, and this is good to me with just put the water in it and heat it, boiling water. But you can add milk to it or you could put a little powdered milk in it and tell you another secret. Coffee creamer gives it a creamy, that creamora gives it a creamy flavor. That's a thought, and that'll keep on your shelf. I did get me a big can of that to put up, but not on this trip. But these are really, really good. If your Costco has them, you won't be sad if you buy them to put in the deep freeze for three days, bring them out to room temperature, and then vacuum seal them, and you'll have something good on your shelf to put up. Now, we like the Lasseur. This is the only canned English peas that I really like are sweet peas. 
and they had these and they came to like I think 89 cents a can or 99 which is the cheapest you're gonna get them uh, and there are eight cans in here so I was glad to get those I got another box of the microwave popcorn and if something should happen that I don't have a microwave or access to power I can open it up and put it in the pot and shake it over the burner but I did get some more of the Kirkland's popcorn and I also got a case of uh, the canned milk and this came to less than a dollar a can and it's the evaporated milk and there's 12 in here. Now sometimes there'll be one at Sam's but it only has eight in it. So you have to be careful when you're comparing prices how many's in the case. A case doesn't automatically have 12. At, at uh, Costco, I was able to get two uh, of the big packages of the bathroom toilet tissue. I have paper towels but I've had a lot of company, different things, and um, we had that little reunion back in the summer, and then all of this during our recent funeral situation, and just company in and out. I've used a lot of toilet paper, so I wanted to be sure I had some extra. So I went ahead and got me two, two things, and there's 30 rolls in each package, so that'll last a while. But I was afraid, you know, with everything else being short. Uh, in fact, my friend was at Costco the day before I went, and they were limiting the pasta. Anything with wheat in it is going to become um, a commodity that you want to have on your shelf. Because we're going to have an issue with that because of the Ukraine. Uh, they're the bread bowl of the world. And they're not going to be exporting any wheat with all that's going on. So all of the other resources, everybody that's been getting from them is going to try to get it from everybody else and guess what human nature takes over whoever offers the highest price is going to get it there's not much integrity left to take care of a customer because they've been a consistent customer uh, if you're going to pay more you can have it that's so sad integrity is important whether it's in business or daily life but that's what's going to happen so I have bought me some bread uh, the Walmart had a, a whole lot of the King Arthur bread flour so I bought several of those and I've got them in the freezer for three days and then I'll back and seal them. I got me one of their 25 pound bags of just regular flour and I did it for three days and I've got it put up and then I have an Azure haul coming in. I went ahead and ordered because I was able to get wheat berries. I have wheat berries but I want to be sure I have enough so I got me some soft white and hard white uh, which is my favorite. I've got red and I like to mix it, but I like more white than red. Wheat berries, of course, the soft white is for your pastry, your pie crust, uh, cake, stuff like that. So I was able to get that, and then I bought from them 25 pounds of corn that I can make cornmeal with. And I'm going to vacuum seal it in a five gallon bucket or whatever it'll fit in, and I'll put that up just in case. Now I told y'all that I have always kept a stocked pantry and I did a little extra, a lot extra in 99 because I didn't know what was going to happen. People made fun of me, but you know what? We used it. It didn't go to waste, but I didn't have to use it for an emergency situation. The same thing with this. Things may level out and our stores may get back to kind of a normal. I don't think they'll ever drop the prices. That's what usually happens. A little something comes up. They jack the prices up, the little something levels out, and the prices stay the same. So another reason for you to stock your pantry is when everything's sky high for a little while, you can save some money eating what you've got on your shelf. Now, I'm going to tell you again, if you haven't started putting some things back, it's a little late in the game, but it's not too late. Uh, get you something like your beans for that'll fill you up and it has fiber and it protein and it's good for you. Pinto beans, kidney beans, white beans. Get you some dry beans that'll keep on the shelf. Get you some rice. Rice and beans will fill you up. You can also use rice for a breakfast cereal. Have you some sugar, salt, pepper, onion and garlic powder to season with or some kind of seasoning. Oil to fry with. Lard if you use Crisco or lard. Uh, oatmeal, 
for your breakfast because it'll fill you up and stay with you all day. Uh, canned milk, powdered milk. You need that. Powdered buttermilk. You need soda and baking powders. Things just to cook just a regular meal with. Um, get you some macaroni and cheese in boxes. All you need is water. I mean, you, it's good to put butter and some milk in it, but you could eat it like that if you had to. They don't buy things that y'all don't like. Buy things for your family. Have a few things for a treat. Uh, like I said, a treat always helps if times are bad. If you drink tea and coffee, you might ought to get you some ahead because shipping may become an issue. We may not can get it, and that comes from overseas. So think about if you're a coffee drinker, your Cremora or whatever you put in it. You can buy... Uh, like on Amazon or Walmart, a lot of things you can order on Walmart and it's free shipping. So even company names like Augustine Farms, the uh, stuff that's sealed in the gallon cans, you can go through Walmart and get it and get free shipping. If you can get powdered cream, heavy cream, good for your coffee or good to cook with. Powdered butter, powdered milk, things like that. You need to think about it because things are looking kind of shaky. And if you read the back of that black book called the Bible, kind of draws a parallel to where we're living right now. Now, you may not believe that, but I believe it with all my heart. Things that I've heard preached all my life that were going to happen are happening. So, I don't think it's going to get any better. I think we're, I think we're, I think if you're wise, you'll stock your pantry up. Thank y'all for listening to me today. What I've said is important. I don't think I'm anything on a stick, we used to say. I'm just sounding an alarm and telling you that if you're wise, you'll get some food in your pantry ahead. And don't plan on your neighbor feeding you. Oh, I know, Susie's stalking her, and if this really happens, I'll just go to her house. I think you'll find the door locked and nobody will answer. I'm not stalking my pantry for the neighborhood. I'm doing it for me and Troy, and if my kids are here. I'm not stalking it for friends at church. I'm not stocking it for anybody but my immediate family. Don't knock on my door asking for food because you haven't heated the morning and filled your pantry. Okay? Don't depend on your friends to feed you and your family because you went ahead and spent your extra money on another hot dog or hamburger. You take your money and put some stuff in your pantry in case there's nothing on the shelves. What happened during COVID should have warned you to put some stuff back because it might, you know, be hard to get. You're going to need toilet articles. You're going to need uh, paper towel and toilet paper. I mean, we can do without paper towel, but, you know, your washing detergent, Purex, bleach, you're going to need some things. Don't take it for granted that somebody's going to loan it to you because let me just tell you, I'm not. And I don't think anybody else that's been diligent and stocked their pantry is thinking, oh, I'm going to be the Good Samaritan and I'm just going to hand it out to everybody. No, everybody's money is limited. Whether you have a bunch or a little, you live on that plane. So take what little extra you have. If you can't spend but $5 a week, get you $5 worth of something extra to put in your pantry instead of going out and getting one more, two more Sonic drinks. Okay? Think about it. Prepare for yourself. Don't depend on anybody else. I don't have the money to prepare for my neighbors or my friends at church. I'm doing my diligence to find meat on sale and can it in jars, to find a sale and vacuum seal it and put it up where I, where I feel secure because as the lady of the house, it's my place to feed my family. I'm trying to plan ahead and have things to feed my family, but I'm not planning ahead for anybody but my family. And I can't stress that enough. Don't think, oh, I'll go to Mama's. Mama may not have enough to feed herself and Daddy for very long. You need to take something to Mama's with you when you go to help with the groceries because Mama's is going to run out. If a family comes together, if there's a great catastrophe, and each one brings what they've got, you can, you can make it, but don't depend on one family member to provide everything. And what I'm saying to you is very pertinent for the times we live in. Do your part or you might be hungry. It's your responsibility. 
and you know the handwriting's on the wall when the shelves at the supermarket have some empty spots i went the other day there wasn't a bag of flour at walmart they did get a shipment in but what's going to happen when they can't get that shipment and you go for flour because you're out you don't have any vacuum packed anywhere what about when you want some sugar to put in your tea or your coffee or your cereal or you want to make a cake and there's not any get a little bit ahead it's very important folks I can't stress it enough it's very important I pray that you're listening I pray that you're making some preparations just in case something happens at the Ukraine that sets off a huge deal and we're all involved okay it's gonna affect us anyway but we never know the good Lord bless and keep y'all I'm gonna do some cooking on the next few videos y'all will be able to see something besides me giving you a little sermon I will be going with Lauren um, the week of Easter to let April take care of some paperwork and all that she needs to take care of. So I'm going to try to get videos made this week so when I'm going next week I can schedule them ahead of time and y'all will get to visit with me anyway. I want to say thank you to Leslie, the forming pastor's wife. She gave me a shout out on the collaboration and I have so many new subscribers that have said I came over from Leslie the forming pastor's wife. Now, I may have gotten a few from some of the other channels, but nobody told me that they came from there. But I'm very grateful for all of my new subscribers. Y'all are welcome. Look around. Listen to me talk. Watch the videos. Learn a new recipe and just enjoy something running on the screen while you're busy doing something else. And another thing is thank every one of y'all who sent us a card. A sympathy card for the loss of our son-in-law. I appreciate that. It just warms your heart when you get a, something in the, in the regular mail. And thank you for the text and the emails. I thank you for that. Makes you feel so loved. And uh, Angie from Angie's Pantry sent a huge bouquet of gorgeous flowers. And I've, I've already thanked her personally. But thank you, Angie. They're still living and beautiful in there on my bar. My island, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to sign off of here where I can get in there and get busy on one of those cakes I'm going to make. Y'all take care. Come right back here in a day or two and, and watch and see what I'm cooking and listen to me. Visit with me. I love every one of y'all. I pray for the ones that are subscribed to my channel. The Lord will bless and keep you safe. And um, that's important. If we all pray for each other, that that's good. He listens. He listens to our prayers. Y'all be making some preparations for an Easter dinner at your house. Gather your family around the table. Turn those cell phones off and visit. You know what I've been saying in my videos about put the cell phones down, spend time with your family, one-on-one, -on -one, eye to eye. There was a psychiatrist that wrote an article, and he read my notes. Everything he said was what I've been saying. It's ruining a generation. They don't know how to live. What would they do if the, if the system went down and they had to live like we lived as kids? Your kids need to get outside and play. Adults need to get outside and walk, ride a bike, do something. Get out from in front of those screens and live. And that's what he was saying. So make Easter an old-fashioned Easter. Have an Easter egg hunt, a big old dinner. Leave your cell phones in a basket by the door. And just visit with each other. Reminisce. Tell the kids what used to happen and memories make memories because if things go to pot memories is going to be a big deal for us to sit around and talk about remember when i'll hush i'll hop down off my box and go do something else and i'll see y'all back in a day or two